never felt so much tension in this kitchen. Go, go. Everyone is yelling things out. Just wanting both these guys to do well. We want them to get the dish up and let it come down to taste. Good job. That's it. That's it. Just finishing off butter chuffy. Sorry, I pulled that out and I'm rolling it as soon as possible. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to pull this, but I don't really care as long as I get on the plate, then I'm happy. Last little rush, make sure you've got all your bits and pieces together, ready for the assembly. One minute to go. Go, 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 go. One minute to go, and I'm under the pump. I've got everybody screaming in my ear. Brent, hurry up! I'm just trying to focus on the recipe and make sure that everything is done correctly. I look over at Laura and I realise I haven't done the vanilla butter sheet. I just have to go without it. Last touch is 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on Laura. So I've taken the full chocolate out of the oven and I'm flapping the mat just to cool it down. Come on. And I know I have to do it, but at the same time, it's boiling hot caramel. the whole process. I feel on top of the world. Regardless of the result, me and Laura are both winners already. Well done, guys. Well done. Time starts, and the first thing I need to do is chop up my nougat. Next thing I need to do is get four bowls ready, put the almond praline, the nougat, and the soaked muscatels in each bowl. Then I need to fold through the chocolate ganache so I can plate up each individual portion. Nice, Brad. Really nice. Oh, I can't watch this part. This is getting intense. I'm trying to be very delicate with the shards. It's important that they stand up straight or the dish won't look like Peter Gilmore's. Well done, Brad. Take your time, you've got plenty of time. Don't rush. You know what? I think this dish looks looks really good. I've worked so hard to get to this point and I can't believe that I managed to do it. <laughs> would, would that be the most frantic cook you've had in your time, Master? By a country mile. That yeah. was so much harder than I anticipated, and I anticipated it was going to be very hard. Um, I think it was just about beyond my capabilities. There was plenty of times there where I thought, no, nah, this is too much. I've got no hope. It looks sensational. Mm. It really does. And. Uh, you really kept it together most of the day. And if you are under incredible pressure, you didn't show it too much. Yeah. Oh, which kidding. is pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brent, we have to um, now taste and decide whether you or Laura is the master chef of 2014. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. I think um, Brent's done an amazing job by the look of it. Looks like all those elements are actually uh, cut up on the bottom and well put together. He is missing the sheet, but, you know, what an effort. Yeah. So I think really the best way is just to get in there and taste it. Yeah. Star sheet's lovely. Mm. lovely Tastes clear and cool, yeah. That's good. 
Oh, those so, almonds are good. Yeah. They're perfect. How good is that nougat for the thyme flavour? The thyme honey flavour in there is so strong. It's beautiful. Mm. The texture of that nougat is right. Mm. It's chewy. Yep. Wow. And the flavour that comes through with the, with the, the other rosso is delicious. Mm. The flavour is spot on. This is an eating experience. This is very, very impressive. The whole experience is quite rounded. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. I mean, you know, first time I've ever seen this dessert and ever done some of these techniques. Yep. Um, incredibly impressive. Should we score? Yes. Yeah. Peter Gilmore is one of the best chefs in Australia. I want to do justice to his dish, so I need to make it as beautiful as possible. Everything's looking really good, Bella. Thanks. I know that if I make it look as beautiful as possible, there's really nothing to stop me from winning. OK, let's go. Let's go. First thing I do is pipe the Oloroso caramel on the bottom. The next thing I need to do is plate up the chocolate-covered nougat. Watching Laura plate up, I think she knows what she's doing, but she puts a log of nougat on each plate, which I think is a bit peculiar. She needs to cut there, doesn't she? I don't know. She hasn't chopped up her chocolate-covered nougat. It's still in a, a fundamentally a brick. And this is going to be really difficult to eat. It's so hot. Come on, Laura, you can You're do right. it. You can do it, Laura. Come on, let's go. That's it. You've got time to do a bit of patching. It's not tradey life, Dad. <laughs> Looking at my dish all assembled, I think, yeah, I'd eat that. Wow. Well done, sweetie. It looks pretty damn good. Right. done. <laughs> wow. Oh, Laura! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Look at this. I don't know. I can't believe it. I can't wow. believe it. Wow. How do you feel? Much better now. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, very happy. I'll tell you, 15 minutes before uh, you finish, I had no idea that you were going to be able to put up this. Same. <laughs> my God. <laughs> you know what? You just didn't give up. You know, speaking on behalf of all the boys, I'm super pleased that you managed to put up what you have. Thank you. And I think you should leave us to taste, don't Thank you? Thank you. Hope you like it. Well done, Laura. Thank you, Peter. How shiny yeah, it's is amazing. this chocolate? It's amazing. Like, you can see your reflections in it. Considering the pressure she was under when she did that, it was incredible. There's not as many sheets, so... Yeah, you know, you, you know what it is? It's a bit chunkier than Peter's. It is, yeah. And that isn't the, the wafer that we're looking for. The, look, the thing that's obvious is that all of us have got a big bar of that uh, nougat on the bottom, which is not your dish, Peter. Yours was broken up into little yeah. one centimetre pieces, you know, which was mixed in with those muscatels. So it is very, very different. Well, let's see how it tastes. OK, I see what you mean about the bar. I can't break that. Oh, yeah. Nougat itself is supposed to be cut up in very small pieces. The muscatel raisins, the caramelised salted almonds with the Oloroso caramel, all of those components need to be quite loose and the ganache needs to enrobe them um, so that when you cut through, you get a mouthful of everything. It, 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 look, it is different. Why didn't she just cut it up that's when she was putting yeah. it together? That's all she had to do. Just yeah. cut it up. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Brent, your total so far is 74. You need to score from Peter seven or more to win the title. Brent, when I scored the desserts tonight, I had to look at really what was the closest one to what I would serve a key. And also, the one that ate the best. So, Brent, that was yours, and I scored you a nine out of 10.
realisation that you are Australia's new master chef. Congratulations! <laughs> Give it the kiss. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Master Chef for 2014.